Now we're talking ship, dozens of ships in fact. We'll map out the newest cruise ships, highlight their amazing features, and give you the inside scoop on deliveries for the next several years. Coming up on Talking Cruise. Hi, I'm Chris Cardona. The cruise industry is about to get an unprecedented boost in new ship builds over the next 10 years. With over 40 new ships being launched between 2017 and 2025, just about every major cruise line and even some smaller, lesser known brands have new ship orders placed with the world's top shipyards. Our first new ship profile highlights a series of several new ships from a cruise line you may not even have heard of yet. MSC Cruises, a subsidiary of one of the largest container shipping companies in the world, has been making waves in the cruise industry for several years. MSC Cruises recently embarked on an impressive project to improve their existing fleet of 12 ships while committing to an additional 11 new builds over the next several years. The first of these new ships, the MSC Meraviglia, a totally new class of ship, will launch in June 2017. MSC Meraviglia is the largest ship to date for MSC Cruises. She will debut in Europe with a series of seven-night Mediterranean cruises departing from Marseille, France, Genoa and Naples, Italy, and Barcelona, Spain. Bookings are now open for sailings from June 2017 through March 2019. MSC Meraviglia will feature the Galleria, a 315-foot central promenade with boutiques, dining venues, and spots to people watch. I know what you're thinking. This sounds familiar. Well, sure, we've seen promenades like this on ships before. However, the Galleria will feature the longest LED dome at sea. The entire ceiling of the promenade will be covered by a massive LED screen that will create unique ambiance with inspiring vistas, events, sunrises, and starry night skies. Another first for MSC Cruises is the inclusion of duplex suites. These two deck high accommodations will offer a master bedroom on the top level with ensuite bathroom, while on the main level, there'll be a double convertible sofa, another full bathroom, and a spacious balcony with Whirlpool tub. When traveling with large families, MSC Meraviglia offers the traditional two interconnected staterooms, but also a new Super Family Plus category that consists of three connected staterooms that can accommodate up to 10 guests. Super Family Plus can be configured with two ocean view staterooms and one interior, or two balcony staterooms and one interior. In an exclusive partnership with Cirque du Soleil, guests will have the opportunity to see two original shows in the new state-of-the-art Carousel Lounge. This venue features the latest in show technology and will serve as a backdrop for a dinner and a show experience. There will be an additional cost to see the Cirque du Soleil shows. Rounding out the awesome new onboard activities will be the Polar Aqua Park, complete with Himalayan Bridge, Sportsplex, a large indoor sports and entertainment venue, two Formula One simulators, and a full-size bowling alley. Furthering their commitment to the North American cruise market, MSC Cruises has announced their plans to bring MSC Meraviglia to Miami in late 2019. Also launching from MSC Cruises in 2017 is another new class of ship. MSC Seaside is slightly smaller than MSC Meraviglia, but still big on design, comfort, and incredible experiences. Launching in December 2017, MSC Seaside is being purpose-built for the North American cruise market and will sail alternating seven-night Eastern and Western Caribbean itineraries exclusively from Miami, Florida. Bookings are now open for sailings from December 2017 through March 2019. MSC Seaside will have a revolutionary design and will be right at home in Miami with her South Beach condo style aft corner suites, panoramic glass elevators, and a breathtaking 98-foot bridge on the top deck. Designed to bring guests closer to the ocean, MSC Seaside will also feature a unique 360-degree extensive open-air waterfront promenade. Highlighting the promenade will be a variety of restaurants, bars, and shops. Additionally, a glass skywalk perched outside the hull will give guests an amazing view of the ocean from above. MSC Seaside will also offer the flexible family accommodations and a variety of suite categories including one that sleeps five with a whirlpool tub on the balcony. When you're ready to get an adrenaline blast, head over to the dual zip lines, stretching over 394 feet and offering guests a bird's eye view of the entire ship or surrounding ocean or port. 
Want to cool off? The multi-deck forest adventure in Aquapark offers five amazing water slides, including two high-speed racing slides and another with slide boarding technology, combining an interactive game, lights, and music, all contained within the 367-foot water slide. A full-size bowling alley, Formula One racing simulator, and 5D cinema are also offered. MSC Seaside will be the first ship to visit the brand new private island of Ocean K Marine Preserve starting in November 2018. Starting with MSC Maravilia and MSC Seaside and eventually the entire fleet, MSC Cruises have announced MSC For Me, a new technology that assists guests in savoring moments their own unique way, using digital technology that literally interconnects the guests, the crew and the ship so the guest time on board is in their hands. Launching in June 2018, the sister to MSC Seaside, the MSC Seaview, will commence sailing five to eight night Mediterranean cruises from Genoa, Naples and Messina, Italy, Barcelona, Spain and Marseille, France. Bookings are now open for sailings from June 2018 through November 2018. MSC Seaview will feature all the same elements as her sister. MSC Cruises' roster of new builds doesn't stop there. A second Maravilia class ship, MSC Bellissima, is scheduled to launch in spring 2019, followed in 2021 by a third seaside class ship yet to be named. In addition to those, two ships in a new class called Maravilia Plus will launch in October 2019 and September 2020. These ships will be larger than MSC Maravilia and MSC Bellissima. Lastly, MSC Cruises will launch yet a fourth new class of ship they have called World Class. These four ships will be much larger at 200,000 gross registered tons and 7,000 guests and be delivered in 2022, 24, 25, and 26. Next up is the latest ship from Carnival Cruise Line. The second in the Vista class, Carnival Horizon will debut from Barcelona, Spain in April 2018, sailing four cruises in the Mediterranean before her transatlantic to New York City. Once there, Carnival Horizon will sail a series of four-night Bermuda and eight-night Eastern Caribbean itineraries over the summer before repositioning to her new home port in Miami, Florida. From Miami, Carnival Horizon will sail alternating six-night Western and eight-night Eastern and Southern Caribbean itineraries. Bookings are now open for sailings from April 2018 through April 2019. Carnival Horizon will feature the most popular offerings from other ships in the fleet. Unique to Carnival Vista and Carnival Horizon is the Sky Ride, a suspended two-lane bike course perched high above the top decks. Also within the sports square are the Sky Course, a challenging ropes course with awesome views, mini golf, basketball, and other games like ping pong. Carnival Waterworks features the classic spiral water slides, dual racing mini slides, water sprays, and the monster power drencher. With all that excitement, adults will need a spot to just chill. That's where the Serenity Adult Only Retreat comes in. This Shangri-La of relaxation is a quiet spot to lazily watch the ocean go by, curl up in one of the nest loungers, or swing on a hammock. If you missed the latest blockbuster movie at home, no worries. You can watch it in the IMAX theater or take it up a notch at the 4D Thrill Theater. Want to enjoy an exclusive experience? Stay in one of the Havana accommodations. Havana staterooms have a unique island decor and offer member-only access to the Havana bar and pool during the day. Want a real treat? Upgrade to a Havana cabana for an extra large outdoor space that features personal deck chairs and a swinging hammock chair, or take it to the max in a Havana cabana suite for even more space and luxurious bathroom with rain shower. All Havana accommodation guests must be 12 or older. Now, if you're looking for the best rooms for families, book the Family Harbor Accommodations. Available as inside, ocean view, balcony, or suite, all categories feature a nautical decor and include exclusive access to the Family Harbor Lounge. The lounge offers complimentary games, breakfast, snacks, concierge service, family movies, and of course, its very own soft serve ice cream machine. A third yet unnamed ship in the Vista class has been ordered and is scheduled for delivery in late 2019. Carnival Cruise Line has also announced an order for another two ships in an entirely new class. These ships set for delivery in 2020 and 2022 
will be the largest ever for Carnival Cruise Line and also be the first for the line to be powered by liquefied natural gas or LNG. LNG is much cleaner for the environment by reducing emissions and lowers the amount of soot created. That's no oasis on the horizon, but it is the next in the Oasis class. Symphony of the Seas, the fourth in the successful Oasis class of ships from Royal Caribbean, will be delivered in April 2018. Once delivered from the shipyard in France, Symphony of the Seas will sail a series of cruises from Barcelona, Spain, and Civitavecchia, Italy, throughout the summer and fall before the transatlantic to her new home port of Miami, Florida. Once in Miami, Symphony of the Seas will sail alternating seven-night eastern and western Caribbean itineraries. Bookings are now open for sailings from April 2018 through April 2019. Symphony of the Seas will have all the incredible jaw-dropping features of Oasis, Allure, and most recent, Harmony of the Seas. Hang 10 on the two flow riders, wipe out, then wipe off and hit the rock climbing wall with views over 40 feet above deck. Get your high-speed thrills on The Perfect Storm, a trio of twirling water slides. For the smaller ones, Splash Away Bay has the right amount of wet and fun to keep them cool all day. Plummet down the ultimate abyss, the 10-story slide sure to keep you coming back for more. Chill out with some ice skating, ride the carousel in the boardwalk, or go for a stroll through Central Park. Royal Caribbean has also hinted about a new daring activity, and we'll have to wait and see on this one. Symphony of the Seas will be the first Oasis-class ship to sail from Port Miami. Royal Caribbean is building a brand new terminal at Port Miami to accommodate Symphony of the Seas as well as Allure of the Seas. The Crown of Miami, as it is being called, will be a shining beacon for the port and its architecture will complement the amazing Royal Caribbean ships that will berth there. Royal Caribbean has also committed to building a fifth Oasis-class ship scheduled for delivery in spring 2020 along with the 4th and 5th Quantum class ships to be delivered in April 2019 and Fall 2020. Royal Caribbean has also announced an order for two other ships in an entirely new class. These Icon class ships set for delivery in 2022 and 2024 will be slightly smaller than the Oasis class and also be the first for the line to be powered by liquefied natural gas. Next up, we have a new class of ship from Celebrity Cruises. The first in the Edge class, Celebrity Edge, will be delivered in December 2018. Departing from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Celebrity Edge will sail alternating seven-night eastern and western Caribbean itineraries. Bookings are now open for sailings from December 2018 through April 2019. This ship will have its guests living life on the edge, quite literally. A first-of-its-kind feature called Magic Carpet is an ever-changing venue cantilevered off the side of the ship. This floating platform reaches heights of 13 decks above sea level. The Magic Carpet is designed to give guests a comfortable environment with a full bar and space for live music, but the mood and its function will change as it visits different decks. At the very top of the ship, Magic Carpet will host an experience called Dinner on the Edge. One deck lower, it seamlessly morphs into an extension of the pool deck. Further down on deck 5, it will serve as a venue for an open-air dining experience. Then, on Deck 2, Magic Carpet becomes an extension to another new feature called the Destination Gateway. The Destination Gateway is a modern, multi-purpose area that will be utilized for destination talks, shore excursion assistance, and other events. When tendering is required, the area will be a welcoming environment for the edge launches and lead guests to the Magic Carpet. From there, guests will be picked up by the edge launches that serve as the most comfortable tenders ever. Edge launches will feature bucket seats, air conditioning, large windows, and more space. A new space for Celebrity Cruises is the rooftop garden, featuring a living urban playscape and a spot to reflect and slow down. From day to night, the space will transform and offer guests opportunities to sample great food, catch a film, or dance the night away under the stars. Another first-of-its-kind feature are the infinite verandas. Infinite verandas blur the line between inside and outside and allow staterooms to truly open up to the ocean. Edge villas offer over 900 square feet of split-level living. Walls of glass open the spaces and a gigantic terrace awaits with a private plunge pool and access to the exclusive retreat. The retreat sanctuary is a paradise for suite class guests, featuring a spacious outdoor lounge, 
full-size pool, hot tub, and dedicated pool butlers. Celebrity Cruises has committed to building three more Edge-class ships. Celebrity Beyond will arrive in spring 2020, and the other two yet unnamed ships will arrive in fall 2021 and fall 2022. Continuing on the success of its Breakaway Plus class of ships, Norwegian Cruise Line's Norwegian Bliss will be delivered in April 2018. After its transatlantic from Southampton, England, and a Panama Canal repositioning cruise, Norwegian Bliss will sail seven-night Alaska cruises throughout the summer from Seattle, Washington. At the end of the season, she'll sail a series of seven-night Mexican Riviera itineraries from Los Angeles before sailing a Panama Canal repositioning cruise back to Miami, Florida. Once in Miami, Norwegian Bliss will sail seasonal seven-night Eastern Caribbean itineraries throughout the winter before returning to the West Coast in the spring. Bookings are now open for sailings from April 2018 through April 2019. As with previous ships in this class, Norwegian Cruise Line will keep the familiar, such as stu studio staterooms designed with a single traveler in mind. However, they will now have virtual ocean views or the exclusive luxury of the Haven, the ship within a ship complex of suites and villas. New to the Norwegian Bliss will be the Observation Lounge offering the most expansive views at sea, perfect for taking in the beautiful splendor of Alaska. Haven guests will have exclusive access to a two-deck Observation Lounge. It is also speculated that Norwegian Bliss will get the top-deck, two-level Ferrari-themed racetrack course using electric go-karts and featuring eight hairpin turns. Also, the Galaxy Pavilion, a space for immersive virtual reality experiences, simulator rides, and hover bumper cars, most recently introduced on Norwegian Joy, Norwegian's latest ship for the Asian cruise market. Norwegian Cruise Line has also ordered a fourth Breakaway Plus class ship to be delivered in late 2019. Additionally, a future class of ship named Project Leonardo will be designed to offer guests a flexible onboard experience with an incredible array of offerings and further integrates inside and outside spaces. Four Project Leonardo class ships will be delivered in June 2022, 23, 24, and 25. Everything old is new again with Holland America Line's new Pinnacle class ship, New Stottendam, the sixth ship in Holland America Line's history to bear that name. A sister ship to Koningsdam, the new Stottendam will debut in fall 2018 and will offer several of the innovative venues first introduced on Koningsdam, as well as a few new concepts. Returning is the BB King's Blues Club, bringing the best of Memphis music to the sea. The eight-piece band performs nightly in the Queen's Lounge. World Stage, with its two-story, 270-degree LED screen, surrounds guests in a dazzling, high-definition sensory entertainment experience. On the Lincoln Center stage, guests will be treated to live music performances. At Billboard On Board, guests can sing along to live musicians and test their music trivia skills with questions presented on screens. Experience America's Test Kitchen, an enticing selection of live onboard cooking shows and opportunities for hands-on workshops to hone your culinary skills, learn techniques, and new recipes. Holland America Line has also ordered a third Pinnacle class ship to be delivered in 2021. Princess Cruises continues the royal treatment with the launch of a fourth and fifth royal class ship. These yet to be named ships will be delivered in 2019 and 2020. Following in the steps of sister ships, Royal Princess, Regal Princess, and the latest Majestic Princess, these new builds will offer some amazing technology and experiences. Dare to take the sea walk, an over the ocean glass walkway 60 feet long, extending 28 feet beyond the edge of the ship and cantilevered 128 feet above the ocean. The Princess Watercolor Fantasy Show will captivate guests as water comes to life in the dazzling spectacle of color, sounds, and dancing fountains. Princess Cruises is introducing a revolutionary way to vacation with Ocean Medallion, debuting on Regal Princess in November 2017. Ocean Medallion is a quarter-sized disc that can be worn on a wristband, pendant clip, or just in your pocket. The medallion is literally your key to opening doors, to your stateroom, your ship, and unique onboard experiences. Working in tandem with the medallion is the Ocean Compass. The Ocean Compass is your guide to planning and personalizing your experiences on board. Available through touchscreens on board, your stateroom TV, or your own mobile devices, 
Ocean Compass, along with the Ocean Medallion, will make magic happen. Have a drink delivered to your exact location. Get greeted by name from the shipboard crew and have them know what your dining and beverage preferences are. Or just be able to walk on board your ship with ease and efficiency. The House of Mouse is building two more ships to add to the exciting fleet of four ships for Disney Cruise Line. The two yet-to-be-named ships will be delivered in 2021 and 2023 and will be the largest vessels in the growing fleet. Costa Cruises is continuing their growth with two new massive ships set to be delivered in 2019 and 2020. These ships will represent the largest in the fleet for Costa Cruises and be the first for the line to be powered by liquefied natural gas or LNG and will offer an extensive number of family-friendly features. Luxury cruise line Crystal Cruises has announced plans to build the new class of ship called Exclusive Class and will represent a substantially larger ship than any in the Crystal Fleet. Due to arrive in the fall 2018, the Exclusive Class ships will be equipped to sail the far reaches of the globe, including the Polar and Arctic regions. Known for his bold and enthusiastic operation of several travel companies, Sir Richard Branson is setting his course for the high seas. Virgin Voyages, a brand new cruise line, has already started construction of their first ship. Scheduled for delivery in 2020, the first of three ships will debut in Miami, Florida, sailing a range of Caribbean itineraries to ports that deliver virgin-styled and deeply social experiences. The other two ships will be delivered in 2021 and 2022. Thank you for watching this week's show. We welcome your comments and questions, and don't forget to subscribe for more Talking Cruise.